Yamaha Motor Company Limited is pleased to announce that we'll be exhibiting a prototype hydrogen-powered outboard motor at the Miami International Boat Show, one of the world's largest boat shows, scheduled to be held from February 14 to 18, 2024, in Miami, Florida. Marine products run through water and are thus subjected to water resistance, requiring significantly more energy for propulsion than land vehicles. Additionally, the performance and engineering requirements for marine products can vary widely depending on the usage environment, such as the ocean, rivers, or lakes, as well as the usage itself, from commercial fishing to recreation. In order to achieve carbon neutrality with marine products while facing such challenges, the company, Yamaha, is promoting a multi-directional development approach, looking to other new energy sources and technologies in addition to its electrification efforts. The Yamaha executives got together and had a meeting and presentation on their future direction and on this new hydrogen prototype outboard. I think it looks pretty nice from the pictures they released. Yamaha released a short promotional film. It was in Japanese, but there is subtitles. As one key energy source for decarbonizing society, interest in hydrogen continues to rise, and R&D efforts in numerous fields are underway. In the world of mobility, which is moving across the board toward carbon neutrality, with various EVs, fuel alternatives to gasoline, and more, Infrastructure construction and real-world testing is moving forward to use hydrogen as a fuel. From its production to usage, engines using proven technology to combust hydrogen and produce energy have real potential as powertrains for mobility applications, generators, and more. As the supply schemes for hydrogen and related technologies gain speed around the globe, Yamaha Motors R&D departments have their eyes set on that potential. Hydrogen power, that ought to make for a clean and happy world? Well, maybe. On the plus side, hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. But since the element is so light, any free hydrogen on Earth would float into space. Hydrogen has to be produced and separated from other molecules that it's combined with. And it takes energy to do that separation. And since hydrogen is stored as a very cold liquid, you have to have special high-pressure tanks to handle it. A systemic problem for hydrogen-powered engines is that hydrogen and oxygen burning produces water vapor. This can be bad for corrosion, but worse yet, water gets blown by the pistons and ends up in the engine oil. And that will weigh down on engine durability over time. Another problem that was found in long-term durability of hydrogen engines was spark plug corrosion. In addition to that was also fuel injector durability. Hydrogen, being the smallest atom, is very difficult to seal off in an injector. The leaks cause wear in the seals and then they fail. As you can see by this Yamaha supplied chart, the energy density of fluid hydrogen is not much above batteries. One way to increase the density is to supercharge the engine, and that has its own problems though. The boosted intake pressures result in oil blow-by, which puts a layer of carbon on the piston crown. This will cause wear and detonation. Hydrogen engines also have a problem with their valves and valve seats wearing due to embrittlement. Again, since hydrogen is such a small atom, it can penetrate the metal, get inside, and cause cracking, as you can see in the above diagram. Granted that most of these problems can be solved with uh, materials and engineering, but that type of thing costs a lot of money. But this is just a prototype, and uh, I doubt, tell you the truth, we'll ever see a production or large-scale production of hydrogen engines for anything, tell you the truth. 
but there's people out there way smarter than me working on it, and I guess I could be wrong. Time will tell, as true with everything. Well, if you made it this far in the video, please like and subscribe. Those things do help the channel, and we'll catch you on the next video.